Hello everyone and welcome back to Chronos Plays Final Fantasy IV. Thank you for joining me. Today we're going to check out Baron. So I also changed up my recording a little bit because uh, they weren't doing so well with the Bandicam. Let's just say that. Couldn't edit it in the program that I used to edit everything. Here we get a secret, not so secret, switch for some treasure. Gnomish bread, tent, and eye drops. Hey lady. L Lord Cecil, I've done no ill. I swear it, my taxes are all paid. you damn right they are, woman. What about you? How come you're dressed like that? Are you a bad person? Yeah, I am. Actually, I think there was a potion here. There is! Um, I adjusted the uh, audio settings a little bit too, uh, just to be sure, and I cranked the battle speed up a couple notches just to make things go faster. I'll go over uh, the battle commands a little bit later. Hey, lady. M my lord, I've spoken no ill of his majesty, I swear it. Why don't I show you a little something and we can just forget about everything, all right? Okay, I like where this is going. Oh, you're wearing clothes. Well... While I am thoroughly aroused right now, this is not quite the reward that I was looking for. Go down the waterfall! We got some hidden treasure down here. Now, from the NES version and the uh, you know, PSP and Game Boy Advance versions, they changed some of the layouts for the uh, treasures. I used to think, I think there's three in the other versions down here. Only two in this one. Oh, you know what? I think I forgot to get a potion next to the inn. That's fine. So let's go check out what Sid's up to. He lives in Baron, and we can go visit uh, Rose's mother as well. Hello. Nothing good can come of our meddling in the affairs of mist. Yeah, you're probably right. The building houses the entrance to the Devil's Road. The Demore path that leads... I don't even know what that means. Alright, we're done. Let's go down here. It's the tutorial room. Hello. Even in cave, there are save points where you can record your progress. Use them wisely! Decisive thinking is crucial in combat. Lacking that, you could always lower the battle speed like I do. If you really want to test your mer metal, try settling the battle mode to active in the settings menu. That will let you enjoy the thrill of relentless assault by your enemies, even while you attempt to select magic and items. You can use the party menu. Eh, yeah, whatever. If you talk to all these guys, they give you the gist of everything that goes on in, uh, well, in Final Fantasy IV. Wait, was that press C during combat? That was called, uh, oh yeah, that's X on my menu, buddy. And then you over here. Pretty sure you get an achievement for talking to all these guys. So let's just leave and go talk to Sid and Sid's family. Hey, lady. Father was out working all last night again. When will he realize he's not young enough for this anymore? You'll tell him for me, won't you, Cecil? Tell him he needs to settle down. The town folks have always been saying horrible things about his majesty. Have it, not always. And the others in the castle. It's all the father's been able to do is still their tongues. We know there are plenty of good men there, like you. Says... You said that to a dark knight that just pillaged a village. Hey, fatty. She's finished. New engine, too. That's not the voice I gave him last time, but he's asleep. We'll... We'll, we'll judge him later for it. Alright, let's go get the potion and go get the other hidden treasures. Treasures! Potion! Now, I uh, don't think there's anything else we can do in this village quite yet. The armor shop is locked. There's nothing in the item shop that I want. Door on the west side, you say? Ah, yes, yes. The old waterway flows to the castle, but it's kept under lock and key now, child. Man, all the women here sound like men. It's like a guy's giving them a voice. Alright, so there's no grass here anymore, and it's kind of hard to tell... I think there's one down here, yeah. There's Phoenix down. I think there's a gold needle somewhere around here. There it is. And one more. There we go. That should be it. Alrighty. 
Now there's four enemies around here you can meet. Floating Eye, Goblin, Sword Rat, and Helldiver. There's also a Chocobo Forest right here, but I want to show off some of the enemies and I'll go over the commands. It's not exactly different. I do have it on weight right now. And here's some goblins. So Kane's jump is pretty much the same. Uh, Cecil's darkness is different. Instead of doing a wave that attacks all enemies, it buffs his attack to do more damage while draining his health when he attacks. Is it better? No. Is it good? Yes. Um, it's very good single target damage. Um, I do prefer the group-wide, you know, wave attack, but that's about, I mean, I like multi-targeting attacks, that's about it. Let me get a potion. It would've been nice if we actually got the goblin summon there, that would be quite hilarious. That's like a, oh, Jesus, like, I don't even know, 0.4%, I think, I read in a guide somewhere once, or is it 0.1%, 0.01%. And we got two new enemies! Floating Eye! Well, actually, they're not really new. And Sword Rat. Alright, so they're all gonna get attack. Uh, Kane will do extra damage to the Floating Eyes because they're weak to wind, and Spears are wind elemental. Cecil is just a badass, so he'll just do a lot of damage to them in general. And... That should kill it, yeah. They don't have a lot of he health. They do give a lot of experience points. Hey, you got a phoenix down. Now there's one more. I'm gonna get into a random encounter and hopefully this is it. It's not. Alright, so from going forward on, if we've already encountered an enemy, I'm just gonna cut out the battle. One, that will let me record more. Two, for the most part, I'm just gonna auto battle. I mean, in random encounters, you don't there are very few enemies, and we will run into some random encounters that are the same enemies, that will require you to think, which is an upside and a downside, but uh, for the most part, it's like Nintendo, you just attack, uh, not Nintendo, Super Nintendo, you just attack until the boss, then you actually think of what you're doing. Anyways, I'm going to look for the Hell Drivers, and, or Divers, and I will see you then. Holy shit! We're surprised, alright. That took a long, long time to actually find these guys. Um, like five minutes to find these guys. Now they can cast Break, which is bad. But Cecil is like... I think he's immune to Break? No, he's not. He's breaking right now. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna actually take the Chocobo over to the Mist Cave because I've pretty much done uh, level grinding looking for these guys just for the bestiary entrance too entry I guess you should say so yeah I want to get a hundred percent bestiary but it uh <laughs> I guess it's gonna take some time for some enemies and you know there are some enemies that I won't be able to actually fight you're white I don't like white chocobos. That's not true, I think white chocobos are awesome. Look how cute this thing is. Oh, such good music. Look at that little butt. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Alright. Into the mist cave. Now there's two enemies, uh... Oh, greetings and salutations again. Your name was Cecil, was it not? After we last spoke, I set about mapping out a new course for my life. One that would allow me to help people. But having undertaken the task of mapping, the name of Namingway no longer seems rather seem now yeah, now seems rather inappropriate. Naming Way has become Mapping Way, the cartographer. Oh right, let me give you this. A tame Wayfarer's map. It's an enchanted map that will draw itself as you traverse the floors of caves and dungeons. And that's not all. For each map you complete, you'll receive a fantastic reward. That's lying. I hope you find it useful. Well then, until we meet again. Okay, so we have the map. If you look on screen, it's pretty much the same as DS version, except it's not on your cursor or your stylus pad. The same rewards as the DS version, um, which is not surprising, seeing how this is a port of a port. As I was saying, it's a port of a port. 
So the DS version was ported over. Leave this place! Who's there? The DS version was ported over to the iPad, and the iPad version was then converted to the uh, Steam version, which I am playing. How are we doing on our map? Pretty good. Now you can move with now you can move with the map up, but I'm probably not going to do that because that I don't know. I think that would take away from the quality of the recording. But we haven't missed anything, have we? No. Okay, because I'm probably going to want those five potions. Return once you came. That voice could it be the Adolin? And potion. And we gotta go down. Okay. And let's heal up a little bit. Oop. There we go. Let's say I feel a presence. It's not hostile, but nor could it be called friendly. Uh, that's true. Men of Baron. You know who we are? Leave. Lev at once, and no harm will befall, befall you. Is that a real word, Lev? No. I will abide no further trespass. Show yourself. You mean to ignore my warning? Of course. We must deliver this ring to the village of the mist. The to the village of mist beyond. So be it. The mist is gathering. Ah, oh, the mist dragon. All right, so mist dragon, about five hundred sixty hit points. Uh. Pretty much the same as the other versions of the game have Kane jump. Uh, the only difference is Cecil should use darkness and then attack. The, the Mist Dragon is weak against dark elemental attacks. So Cecil's base attack combined with darkness is going to do a crap ton of damage. Like 144. Jesus Christ. That was actually a lot more than I was expecting. We're pretty much halfway done. I should be able to get another attack in. Yes. Okay. Now don't do anything. It's gonna turn the mist. Turn the mist. There we go. So if you attack it when it, uh, it turns the mist, it will spray you guys with this white stuff that hurts a lot. Uh, I think it's called mist. I don't know. Could be wrong. Um, but you don't want to do that, especially because Kane and Cecil actually have crap magic defense, like really bad magic defense. I'm not even gonna bother with darkness again. We're almost done. Um, yeah, so 61, as you can see, darkness does amplify your damage by a lot. But one more attack by Cecil, and then a jump by Kane should do it. I might have Cecil heal. Kane, you suck! I hate you so much. We're gonna have to sit through another miss phase. I mean, I might be able to get an auto attack in from Kane. That dragon has some very lovely earrings. Shit. Alright. Attack, attack. We'll chance it. Oh, okay. Do, 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 do. We should get a lot of experience from it. Well, like all the other versions, experience is divided by how many people are alive at the end of the battle. And this is a boss fight, so you gain a lot of experience. I don't think you gain any money in this version. No. Not under level, though. That's surprising. And Miss Cave Bap complete. Obtain five potions. All right, so that's it for the Miss Cave. Uh, next, we're going to enter the village of Miss, but that's going to be next episode. So thank you for joining me. If you like the episode, press the like button below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, I highly recommend it as I upload gameplay videos daily. And I will see you all next time. Have a great day. Bye.